Two beams illuminating the night sky. You're looking at a live picture of Lower Manhattan 13 years after the attack that changed everything. From Chopper 2, you can see the light shining from the spot where the Twin Towers once stood, a symbol of what was lost. I miss you so much. Daddy, you're my hero. I love you. Family and friends again gathered at the memorial reading the names of the victims. Good evening to you. I'm Christine Johnson. And I'm Maurice Dubois. A day of solemn tribute to honor and remember those who died on September 11th, 2001. CBS 2's Dave Carlin is in Lower Manhattan where crowds continued to gather into the night. This memorial full of people at this late hour, the many voices making up only a murmur kept low. So all you hear is the water. That they've opened it to the public. And I'm grateful for it. Under the stars and massive beams of light, Frank Gottlebowski of Rocky Hill, Connecticut, added to this row of flowers on the name of his friend Jeffrey Donald Bittner, who was only 26 when he died in Tower 2. It is very touching to me. It, it's, it's great that for the first time in 13 years that I've been able to visit the site on the day of the anniversary. For the ceremony, the bells tolled. Stephen Francis Schlag. Robert A. Shagel. The names remembered aloud and the emotions once again flooded this place. My brother, Glenn Davis Kerwin, <laughs> we miss you. You are our hero and you are not forgotten until we meet again. I never got the chance to meet you, but you'll always be in our hearts. My only child, my beloved daughter. Daddy, we love you. We miss you. Many of the children alive during the attacks are now adults. The kids of now have the Memorial Museum where they can go learn and then never forget. At the 9-11 Memorial, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.